In today's video, I'll be talking about and recommending the best clarinet ligatures for beginners all the way up to professional players. So if that sounds interesting, stick around for this video. Hi, I'm Juliana from Clarinet Note Studio, and welcome back to my channel. So I often get questions from my students on what the best clarinet ligature is, and my answer is always there's not necessarily a best, number one, or perfect ligature. It just depends on what you're looking for. However, that being said, I've put together a list of my top nine ligatures that I have worked well for myself and for my students over the past 25 years. In this video, I'll talk briefly about what I look for when testing a ligature, different price points, and I'll be play testing each ligature back to back so you can hear the subtle differences between the different models. So number one is the Bernard Standard B-flat clarinet ligature. This is one of my favorite ligatures of all time, and it's very affordable. So I played on this model during my undergraduate and master's degree programs, and I also won my military band job playing on this ligature. The pros of this ligature are um, it's affordable, you have solid control over your tone, your sound, and tonguing. It doesn't pop off the mouthpiece easily as the inverted model, which I'm going to show next. Um, the cons would be it has a tendency to be rigid if you're looking to play with a freer tone or sound. Uh, moving on to my second choice is the Bernard Inverted B-flat clarinet ligature. This is another one of my favorite ligatures to play. I find that my tone sound is warmer, uh, freer, and I can emote easier during expressive musical passages. Um, I've had a harder time controlling how much the reed vibrates during lengthy passages with a lot of tonguing. So my pros for this ligature are they're very affordable, it produces a freer tone quality. Uh, some of the cons would be it's hard to control during tongue passages. And one annoying thing is it tends to pop off the mouthpiece without you wanting it to. Number three is the Rovner Versa Inverted B-flat Clarinet Ligature. I recommend this model ligature to my students who are looking to produce a better tone immediately. I find some of the metal ligatures, they can be too resistant at first and can take some time to produce a nice warm sound. The Rovner Versa is very easy to play and it lets the reed vibrate, you know, respond with little effort. So some of the pros for this ligature are it's good for students or anyone looking to free up their sound. It's also really good for jazz. Um, it's an affordable price range. Uh, it has repositional flaps and cradle with the inserts that can be configured to produce six different tones. Some of the cons are I find it difficult to control, especially during tongue passages. Sometimes it feels a little too wild for me. Next, number four, is the Van Dorn Optimum Standard B-flat clarinet ligature. I really like this ligature for my students. It is easy to use and it keeps the reed in place on the mouthpiece with no issues. It's the most secure ligature I've ever used when it comes to securing the reed on the mouthpiece. For instance, when you have to take the mouthpiece off to swab, this ligature stays on really well. Some of the pros are, um, again, it secures the reed to the mouthpiece very well, and it comes with three interchangeable pressure plates that provide variation to the tone. I also find this ligature um, easy to tongue on. Some of the cons are it can be restrictive if you're looking for a freer sound or tone quality. Um, I've found that the interchangeable pressure plates, um, they're difficult to remove and replace. Um, this would be a medium price point ligature. Number five is the BG Tradition Inverted B-flat clarinet ligature that's gold-plated. It produces a beautiful tone quality and it's easy to use. I've really enjoyed playing on this ligature in the past. Some of the pros include, like I said, producing a warm, beautiful tone quality and it secures the reed on the mouthpiece very well for an inverted style ligature. Uh, some of the cons are it can be more difficult to tongue on compared to the standard orientation ligatures. Uh, this is, would also be considered a medium price point. 
Next is the Ishimori inverted B-flat clarinet ligature in rose, or sometimes it's called pink gold. This is a really nice uh, ligature, but it's approaching the more expensive price point for ligatures, in my opinion. I would recommend this ligature to uh, an advanced high school student or a college student. Uh, some of the pros are it produces a beautiful tone. Um, it has the rose or pink gold model might be brighter than the silver plated model, which I'll talk about next. And it has a good response and it's free blowing. Uh, some of the cons are it can be difficult to remove or attach the reed onto the mouthpiece quickly. And it's also a higher price point, like I said. Number seven is the Ishimori inverted B-flat clarinet ligature in solid silver. So this is a very nice ligature, but again, it's approaching the more expensive price point for ligatures. Uh, I think last time I looked, this ligature was selling for around $285 US. So I would recommend this ligature to advanced high school players, college students, and I have a lot of professional clarinet playing friends that actually play on this model. Um, it produces, some of the pros are it produces a beautiful rich tone, it has good response uh, during sustained tonguing passages, and is free-blowing. I actually prefer the solid silver model to the rose gold model. And some of the cons are it can be difficult to remove or attach to the mouthpiece quickly, you know, if you're taking the reed off or, you know, to wet again and then putting it back on, it can be kind of tricky to replace. And then also it's in a higher price point like I mentioned before. Number eight is the Silverstein Works Inverted Cryo 4 Ligature uh, coming in size six clarinet small. I love this ligature. It maintains a beautiful balance between producing a beautiful rich tone and stabilizing the reed on the mouthpiece, making it easier to play tongued passages. So some of the pros for this ligature are, again, it produces a beautiful even tone and fast response during tongue passages. And cons are it can pop off the mouthpiece easily while you're swabbing. So, and again, this is a higher price point ligature. And number nine is the Silverstein Works Inverted Hexa Ligature. To me, this is the Goldilocks Ligature. This is the ligature I have personally used every day for the past four years. Um, this ligature produces a warm tone while providing increased control through uh, tongued passages and register changes. So some of the pros for this ligature, again, are warm sound, uh, good projection, response easily across register changes, and provides fast response during tongue passages. Uh, the only con I find with this ligature is it's the most expensive ligature I've ever bought, coming in at around $320 uh, US. Now that I've explained a little about each ligature, let's move on to the play test where you can hear each ligature back to back. I'll be using the same mouthpiece, reed, and clarinet with each ligature to keep things consistent. I'll be focusing on testing out the evenness across the registers by playing a three octave F major scale, testing response in the altissimo register, as well as tonguing by using some orchestral excerpts. So let's test these ligatures. <laughs>
this video was helpful, I'll leave links to the products I talked about in the description portion underneath this video, and I'll also leave a link to a free resource on my website that includes these nine ligatures, price points, and links to purchase if you're interested. Again, there are a lot of great ligatures on the market today, but hopefully this video gave you a jumping off point if you're interested in buying or upgrading your ligature. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you very soon with a new video.